Investigators are still far from naming a cause of the devastating wildfires, but that hasn't stopped two homeowners from pointing the finger at PG&E. The Santa Rosa couple is suing the utility after the Tubbs fire destroyed their home on Mocha Lane in the Coffee Park neighborhood. KPIX 5's Phil Mateer is live at PG&E headquarters in San Francisco with what could be the first of many cases. Phil? That's right. You know, Elizabeth, there was a time when first the fire trucks arrived, then the investigators, and then the lawyers. But in this case, the lawyers in the lawsuit have shown up even before the fire is officially out. Here's the story. Raise our children there, and now we're back to a lot on a map. And this is where their house was, now a plot on a map of total devastation. Everything is gone. The Harvells so are just one of the hundreds of families you. who lost their homes when the wind-driven flames of the Tubbs fire decimated Santa Rosa's Coffee Park subdivision. Now they are the first in what is expected to be a tidal wave of lawsuits filed against PG&E, alleging that the utility giant's equipment failures sparked the deadly blazes that burned over 2,800 homes and other buildings. It is clear based on the preliminary evidence here that uh, this fire um, most likely uh, started uh, because of uh, issues with maintenance uh, of the PG&E uh, power system. And uh, unfortunately, this is not the first time this has happened, uh, but it's certainly the most tragic. David Levine is a professor at Hastings School of the Law, and he's seen this before, but never so early. Why PG&E? Why sue the big guy? Well, because that's where the money is. We expect this to be one of most likely thousands of cases that will be filed against PG&E. What would PG&E's defense be? The defense is going to be act of God. The defense is going to be this was a storm. We were not responsible for the storm. PG&E spokesman Keith Stevens declined to comment on the lawsuits but told us... We're taking out about 1.2 million trees a year to make sure our lions are safe. Did you think your lions were safe going into this? You know, there's plenty of time for reviews and we'll look at that. You know, we are focused right now on life safety of those communities that have been impacted by these extraordinary fires. You know, what Frank Pitchery so represented some 200 fire. of the over 500 people who filed lawsuits against PG&E after the deadly San Bruno pipeline explosion, where PG&E paid out over a half a billion dollars in claims. It's a long process. For PG&E, from the date of the fire to the date there was resolution for all claims was three years. They're complex. It's going to be a long process. Uh, the issue is really going to be getting to the ground and taking a look at the evidence. Now, PG&E has an insurance policy for $800 million for cases like this, but they've already given a heads up to shareholders that the tab could be possibly higher. In San Francisco, Filmateer KPIX5,